Duke of Devonshire is a title in the peerage of England held by members of the Cavendish family. This branch of the Cavendish family has been one of the richest and most influential aristocratic families in England since the 16th century, and has been rivaled in political influence perhaps only by the Marquesses of Salisbury and the Earls of Derby. History Although in modern usage the county of Devon is now rarely called Devonshire, the title remained Duke of Devonshire. Despite the title of the dukedom and the subsidiary title, the earldom of Devonshire, the family estates are centred in Derbyshire. It should not be confused with the earlier title, Earl of Devon, Cavendish Knights, and the first Earl of Devonshire. The Cavendish family descends from Sir John Cavendish, who took his name from the village of Cavendish, Suffolk, where he held an estate in the 14th century. He served as Chief Justice of the King's Bench from 1372 to 1381, and was killed in the Peasants' Revolt. Two of his great-grandsons were George Cavendish, Thomas Cardinal Wilson's biographer, and George's younger brother Sir William Cavendish. Sir William gained great wealth from his position in the Exchequer and also, as it was alleged, from unfairly taking advantage of the dissolution of the monasteries. He married as his third wife the famous Bess of Hardwick, with whom he had eight children. One of their sons, Sir Charles Cavendish, was the father of William Cavendish, first Duke of Newcastle upon Tyne, while another son, Henry Cavendish, was the ancestor of the Baron's Water Park. Yet another son, William Cavendish, was a politician and a supporter of the colonialization of Virginia. In 1605 he was raised to the peerage as Baron Cavendish, of Hardwick in the county of Derby and in 1618 he was further honoured when he was made Earl of Devonshire. Both titles are in the Peerage of England. The second Earl of Devonshire and the first five Dukes of Devonshire, he was succeeded by his eldest son, the second Earl. He served as Lord Lieutenant of Derbyshire and was a patron of the philosopher Thomas Hobbes. On his early death the titles passed to his son, the third Earl. He was also Lord Lieutenant of Derbyshire. He was succeeded by his son, the fourth Earl. He was a strong supporter of the Glorious Revolution and later served under William III and Mary II as Lord Steward of the Household. In 1694 he was created Marquess of Hartington and Duke of Devonshire in the Peerage of England. He was succeeded by his eldest son, the second Duke. He held political office as Lord President of the Council and Lord Privy Seal and was also Lord Lieutenant of Devonshire. His eldest son, the third Duke, served as Lord Privy Seal, as Lord Steward of the Household and as Lord Lieutenant of Ireland. On his death the titles passed to his eldest son, the fourth Duke, who was a prominent politician. He was summoned to the House of Lords through a writ of acceleration in his father's junior title of Baron Cavendish of Hardwick in 1751 and served as First Lord of the Treasury and titular Prime Minister of Great Britain from 1756 to 1757. Devonshire married Charlotte Boyle, 6th Baroness Clifford, daughter of the famous architect Richard Boyle, 3rd Earl of Burlington. Their third and youngest son Lord George Cavendish was created Earl of Burlington in 1831. Devonshire was succeeded by his eldest son, William Cavendish, who became the fifth Duke of Devonshire. He had already succeeded his mother as seventh Baron Clifford in 1754. He served as Lord Lieutenant of Derbyshire from 1782 to 1811 but is best remembered for his first marriage to Lady Georgiana Spencer the celebrated beauty and society hostess. The 6th, 7th and 8th Dukes. Their only son, the 6th Duke, served as Lord Chamberlain of the Household from 1827 to 1828 and from 1830 to 1834. Known as the Bachelor Duke, he never married and on his death in 1858 the Barony of Clifford fell into abeyance between his sisters. He was succeeded in the other titles by his first cousin once removed the second Earl of Burlington, who became the seventh Duke. He was the son of William Cavendish, eldest son of the aforementioned first Earl of Burlington, youngest son of the fourth Duke. He was Lord Lieutenant of Lancashire and Derbyshire and Chancellor of the University of London and of the University of Cambridge. He was succeeded by his second but eldest surviving son, the eighth Duke. He was a noted statesman and the most famous member of the Cavendish family. 
known under his courtesy title of Marquis of Hartington until 1891, he held political office for a period spanning 40 years, notably as Secretary of State for India and as Secretary of State for War, and three times declined to become Prime Minister. He married Louise, Dowager Duchess of Manchester, who became known as the Double Duchess. The 9th, 10th and 11th Dukes, Devonshire died childless and was succeeded by his nephew, the 9th Duke. He was the eldest son of Lord Edward Cavendish, third son of the 7th Duke. He was a conservative politician and served as Governor-General of Canada from 1916 to 1921 and as Secretary of State for the Colonies from 1922 to 1924. His eldest son, the 10th Duke, was also a conservative politician and served as Under-Secretary of State for Dominion Affairs, as Under-Secretary of State for India and Burma and as Under-Secretary of State for the Colonies. He married Lady Mary Gascoigne Cecil, who was mistress of the robes to Queen Elizabeth II 1953-66. Their eldest son and heir apparent William Cavendish, Marquess of Hartington, married Kathleen Kennedy, daughter of Joseph Kennedy and sister of the future President of the United States, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Lord Hartington was killed in the Second World War in 1944 shortly after the marriage. The couple had no children. Devonshire was therefore succeeded by his second but eldest surviving son, the 11th Duke. He sat on the Conservative benches in the House of Lords and held political office under his uncle Harold Macmillan and later Sir Alec Douglas home from 1960 to 1964. Devonshire married the Honourable Deborah Mitford, the youngest of the famous Mitford sisters. As of 2009 the titles are held by their second and only surviving son, the 12th Duke, who succeeded in 2004. Other notable members of the Cavendish family, numerous other members of the Cavendish family have also gained distinction. Lord Henry Cavendish, second son of the first Duke, was Member of Parliament for Derby. Lord James Cavendish, third son of the first Duke, also represented this constituency in the House of Commons. Lord Charles Cavendish, second son of the second Duke, was a politician and scientist. His son Henry Cavendish was an influential scientist noted for his discovery of hydrogen. Lord James Cavendish, third son of the second Duke, was a soldier and briefly represented Moulton in Parliament. Lord George Cavendish, second son of the third Duke, was a long-standing member of Parliament and served as Comptroller of the Household from 1761 to 1762. Lord Frederick Cavendish, third son of the third Duke, was a field marshal in the army. Lord John Cavendish, fourth son of the third Duke, was a politician and served as Chancellor of the Exchequer in 1782 and 1783. Lord Richard Cavendish, second son of the fourth Duke, represented Lancaster and Derbyshire in the House of Commons. Lady Dorothy Cavendish, daughter of the fourth Duke, married Prime Minister William Cavendish Bentinck, 3rd Duke of Portland and was an ancestor of Queen Elizabeth II. Augustus Clifford, illegitimate son by the 5th Duke and his mistress and later second wife Elizabeth Hovey, was a naval commander and was created a baronet in 1838. William Cavendish, eldest son of the 1st Earl of Burlington and father of the 7th Duke, represented Aylesbury and Derby in Parliament. George Henry Compton Cavendish, second son of the 1st Earl of Burlington, was Member of Parliament for Aylesbury. The Honourable Henry Frederick Compton Cavendish, third son of the first Earl of Burlington, was a general in the army. The Honourable Charles Compton Cavendish, fourth son of the first Earl of Burlington, was created Baron Chesham in 1858. Lord Frederick Cavendish, third son of the seventh Duke, was a liberal politician. He had just been appointed Chief Secretary for Ireland in 1882 when he was assassinated by nationalists in Phoenix Park, Dublin. His wife Lady Frederick Cavendish was a pioneer of women's education. Lord Edward Cavendish, fourth and youngest son of the seventh Duke, sat as Member of Parliament for several constituencies. His second son Lord Richard Cavendish represented North Lonsdale in Parliament. In 1911 he was one of the proposed recipients of peerages in case the bill that was to become the Parliament Act 1911 was not accepted by the House of Lords. 
His grandson Hugh Cavendish was created a life peers Baron Cavendish of Furness in 1990. Lady Dorothy Cavendish, daughter of the Ninth Duke, was the wife of Prime Minister Harold Macmillan. Courtesy titles Family seats, the Duke of Devonshire's eldest son may use the courtesy title Marquis of Hartington, whilst the eldest son of the eldest son may use the title Earl of Burlington, and his eldest son may use the title Lord Cavendish. The family seats are Chatsworth House, Bolton Abbey in Yorkshire, and Lesmore Castle in Company Waterford, in the Republic of Ireland. Compton Place in Eastbourne belongs to the family but is let. In 1908 Hoker Hall in Lancashire was left to a junior branch of the family. The family previously owned Londesborough Hall, Yorkshire. Hardwick Hall, Derbyshire. Chiswick House, Middlesex and two London mansions on Piccadilly, Devonshire House and Burlington House. In 1907 the Duke owned 192,322 acres across the British Isles, principally in Derbyshire, Yorkshire, County Cork and County Waterford. The traditional burial place of the Dukes of Devonshire is Edensa, the closest village to Chatsworth House. Most ducal graves can be found on the highest spot of Edens's churchyard in the Cavendish family plot. Earls of Devonshire, other titles, Baron Cavendish of Hardwick, in the county of Derby, William Cavendish, 1st Earl of Devonshire was an English courtier, William Cavendish, 2nd Earl of Devonshire, eldest son of the 1st Earl, William Cavendish, 3rd Earl of Devonshire, eldest son of the 2nd Earl, William Cavendish. 4th Earl of Devonshire was created Duke of Devonshire in 1694, Dukes of Devonshire, other titles, Marquess of Hartington, in the County of Derby, Earl of Devonshire and Baron Cavendish of Hardwick, in the County of Derby. William Cavendish, 1st Duke of Devonshire, only son of the 3rd Earl, William Cavendish, 2nd Duke of Devonshire, eldest son of the 1st Duke, William Cavendish, 3rd Duke of Devonshire, eldest son of the 2nd Duke. William Cavendish, 4th Duke of Devonshire, eldest son of the 3rd Duke, Lord Richard Cavendish, 2nd son of the 4th Duke, predeceased his eldest brother unmarried, George Augustus Henry Cavendish, 1st Earl of Burlington, 3rd and youngest son of the 4th Duke, predeceased his nephew, the 6th Duke. William Cavendish, eldest son of Lord Burlington, predeceased his father. Other titles, Baron Clifford, William Cavendish, 5th Duke of Devonshire, eldest son of the 4th Duke, William George Spencer Cavendish, 6th Duke of Devonshire, only son of the 5th Duke, was called the Bachelor Duke, and died unmarried, other titles, Earl of Burlington and Baron Cavendish of Keithley, in the County of York, William Cavendish, 7th Duke of Devonshire, eldest son of William Cavendish, eldest son of the 1st Earl of Burlington, Honourable William Cavendish, eldest son of the 7th Duke, died young, R.T. Honorable Lord Frederick Charles Cavendish, third son of the seventh Duke, predeceased his second brother without issue, L.T. Colonel Lord Edward Cavendish, fourth and youngest son of the seventh Duke, predeceased his second brother. Spencer Compton Cavendish, eighth Duke of Devonshire, second son of the seventh Duke, died without issue, Victor Christian William Cavendish, ninth Duke of Devonshire, eldest son of L.T. Colonel Lord Edward Cavendish, Edward William Spencer Cavendish, 10th Duke of Devonshire, eldest son of the 9th Duke, William John Robert Cavendish, Marquess of Hartington, eldest son of the 10th Duke, was killed in action in World War II, without issue. Andrew Robert Buxton Cavendish, 11th Duke of Devonshire, 2nd and youngest son of the 10th Duke, Mark Cavendish, eldest son of the 11th Duke, died in infancy. Peregrine Andrew Morney Stoker Cavendish, 12th Duke of Devonshire, second son of the 11th Duke, the heir apparent is the present holder's only son William Bill Burlington Cavendish, Earl of Burlington. Lord Burlington's heir apparent is his second child and only son, James Cavendish, Lord Cavendish. Lord Burlington, although entitled to use the courtesy title Marquess of Hartington has continued to use the Burlington title by courtesy since his father acceded as 12th Duke probably for professional reasons. Line of succession, William Cavendish, Earl of Burlington, only son of the 12th Duke, James Cavendish, Lord Cavendish, only son of Lord Burlington, 
Richard, Hugh Cavendish, Baron Cavendish of Furness, grandson of R.T. Honorable Lord Richard Frederick Cavendish, younger brother of the ninth Duke and second son of Lord Edward Cavendish, fourth and youngest son of the seventh Duke Honorable Frederick Richard Toby Cavendish, only son of Lords Cavendish of Furness, Edward Osborne Cavendish, younger brother of Lord Cavendish of Furness, Ronald Simon Constantine Cavendish, great-great-great-grandson of General Honorable Henry Frederick Compton Cavendish, third son of George Augustus Henry Cavendish, first Earl of Burlington, third and youngest son of the fourth Duke, Nicholas Peter Lancaster Cavendish, only son of Ronald Cavendish, Joseph Cavendish Rutledge, first cousin of Nicholas Cavendish, Mark. Francis Cavendish, younger brother of Ronald Cavendish, Rupert William Cavendish, younger brother of Ronald and Mark Cavendish, Martin Alexander Cavendish, only son of Rupert Cavendish, Jonathan Stuart Cavendish, first cousin of Ronald, Mark and Rupert Cavendish, Theodore Robin Cavendish, only son of Jonathan Cavendish, Richard Gordon John Cavendish, fourth cousin of Ronald, Mark, Rupert and Jonathan Cavendish, Charles William Gordon Cavendish, only son of Richard Gordon John Cavendish, William Alwyn Charles Chichester Cavendish, third cousin of Richard Gordon John Cavendish, Mills Joseph Charles Cavendish, only son of William Alwyn Cavendish, Mark Andrew Lionel Compton Cavendish, younger brother of William Alwyn Cavendish. George Andrew Francis Stuart Cavendish, eldest son of Mark Andrew Cavendish, Edward Charles Robert Pitcairn Cavendish, second and youngest son of Mark Andrew Cavendish, Richard Blake Delmer Cavendish, third cousin once removed of Ronald, Mark Francis, Rupert, Jonathan, Richard Gordon John, William Alwyn and Mark Andrew Cavendish, Anthony Lee Cable, only son of Richard Blake Delmer Cavendish, Adrian Delmer Cavendish, Second cousin of Anthony Lee Cable, John Spencer Cavendish, only son of Adrian Cavendish, William Anthony Delmer Cavendish, first cousin of Adrian Cavendish, Edward William Henry Delmer Cavendish, only son of William Anthony Delmer Cavendish, Charles Gray Compton Cavendish, seventh Baron Chesham, great 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 grandson of Charles Compton Cavendish, first Baron Chesham, fourth and youngest son of the first Earl of Burlington. Honorable Oliver Nicholas Bruce Cavendish, only son of Lord Chesham Honorable William George Gray Cavendish, younger brother of Lord Chesham Honorable John Charles Gregory Cavendish, uncle of Lord Chesham, Greville Adrian Cavendish, second cousin twice removed of Lord Chesham and great grandson of William George Cavendish, second Baron Chesham, Rupert Edward Greville Cavendish, eldest son of Greville Cavendish, Piers Anthony Charles Cavendish. Second and youngest son of Greville Cavendish, Patrick Alexander Cavendish, only son of Piers. Cavendish, Earls of Devon, the Earldom of Devonshire was originally granted as a recreation of the title of Earl of Devon, then held to be extinct, but which was found to have been in existence de jure in 1831. These are held by different families, and are now held to be distinct titles. When the Earldom of Devonshire was created, there was already in existence an earldom of Derby. It would therefore have been unlikely that the Cavendish family would have chosen Derbyshire as their new honour. It is much more likely that the title of Devonshire was chosen deliberately. The Cavendish peerage was granted in 1618, twelve years after the last holder of an earlier creation of the earldom of Devonshire, Charles Blunt, 8th Lord Mountjoy had died. The Devon earldom had earlier been held by the ancient de Redvers family and by the Courtney family who had married in the Tudor era the daughter of King Edward IV, Princess Catherine of York and whose son was later made Marquess of Exeter. The Marquess of Exeter was executed for treason and his son was probably poisoned in 1556. From that date, the peerage was vacant. By choosing Devonshire the Cavendish family, who had only recently arrived socially on the political scene, were aligning themselves with some of the oldest families in England. It should be noted that historically Devon and Devonshire were alternating terms and as late as the 18th century Georgiana Cavendish was sometimes referred to as the Duchess of Devon. In fiction, the fifth Duke and Duchess of Devonshire are portrayed in the 2008 film The Duchess directed by Sol Deeb, starring Ralphons as the Duke and Karen Knightley as the Duchess.
The film is based on Amanda Foreman's biography of the scandalous 18th-century English aristocrat Georgiana Cavendish, Duchess of Devonshire. Along with Jane Austen, Elizabeth and the Fifth Duke appear, soon after Georgiana's death, in Jane and the Still Room Maid, a murder mystery by Stephanie Barron. In John Buchan's novel The Three Hostages, the late Duke of Devonshire is cited as an epitome of Englishness. This probably refers to the Eighth Duke. See also, Earl of Devonshire, Duke of Newcastle-upon-Tyne, Earl of Burlington, Baron Chesham, Baron Clifford, Baron Waterpark, Thomas Cavendish known as the Navigator, Chatsworth, further reading, Pearson, John. The Serpent and the Stag. Holt, Reinhardt, and Winston, 1984. Notes. References. Kidd, Charles, Williamson, David. De Brett's Peerage and Barantage. New York, St. Martin's Press, 1990, Lee Raymond's Peerage Pages, Lundy, Darrell. ThePeerage.com. The Peerager, External Links, Chiswick's Local Search Engine.